All right, so I'm going to walk you all through uh, tutorial two here. Um, what I'm doing is I'm going to be uh, creating, making sure that I'm in the correct team. Um, as you can see here, I'm in uh, my triplet Gothic cathedrals project. I'm going to call, it, going to call this lab two. I can save an, you know my initial file under this folder that says lab two, and I can just give it you know my name. Uh, and lab two or just lab two, um, it'll be easy for me to find. Uh, if you all uh, put your names on them uh, as well, but you don't have to because you're gonna have your names on your projects already. So uh, for this tutorial, we're gonna be creating a six part vault and that's gonna begin a little bit uh, pretty similar to what you all were doing before. I'm mean, just gonna change my orientation so I'm looking at the top view right here um, and I'm just going to start with a two-point rectangle, and you can see I'm just going to um, just start typing the, I'm going to hit tab to um, move over from one side to the other um, to type in 14 by 12. Okay, so that's going to be, it's going to be a slightly rectangular uh, vault, um, and that's a pretty good case. What I'm doing here is I'm just doing a quick sketch um, down the, the center, I'm using the, the uh, middle point snapping, which is that triangle. Um, and just to sort of uh, pause for a moment here, uh, the reason I'm drawing these additional uh, lines um, that you can see um, after splitting it once, I'm sort of splitting it again. And the only reason I'm adding these additional little lines here is so that I can also get the middle point of essentially a quarter way through um, that, uh, that particular line. Okay, so that's why I'm doing that. And you can see I'm just drawing the diagonals um, from those points to the middle, okay? So this should be pretty easy to do. Um, and I'm using a number of things, um, you know, to make sure that things, once you've done three of these, you don't actually have to do the midpoints for the other ones. This one is, is gonna be correct because uh, um, it automatically gives you that constraint of parallel right there. Um, so just to be certain, um, I'm gonna make sure that I, I draw that last line, but. In, in theory, you don't really need it um, if the lines are parallel. So I'm going to turn these into, I'm hitting the X key, I'm turning all of these things into construction lines. Um, so they're just guides, okay? So I select them and I hit X. Um, I just changed my view a little bit um, and I'm pushing the base of this down. I'm only creating the base so that I have some additional planes um, to, to draw on. That's the only reason that I created that. I'm eventually, at the end of the tutorial, I'm just gonna eliminate this base. Um, but once you select one of those faces, and then you go ahead and create um, uh, you know, construction plane, uh, panes and things like that, um, you should be able to draw directly on them. So if I selected that, that pane and then hit um, the sketch button, um, I'd be able to sketch right on that plane. What I'm about to do now is create, um, since I don't have one in the middle, I'm going to create what's called an offset construction plane um, that's right in the center um, of this object, and I'm going to do it um, going this way as well. So offset plane, and then I can change my view and drag it back, and, and this is really easy. I know my distance is going to be um, half the distance that I had right there. So that's gonna come down to um, uh, just a simple measurement of, of uh, six for that one. So negative six and negative seven being half of those two uh, values. So I had already, that was maybe a little bit too fast, so I'm gonna kind of run back for just a second. I'm going to select this face and then quickly hit create sketch. So I'm drawing right on that front face. The next thing I'm going to want to do, I'm just going to turn those construction planes off for a moment just because they're distracting. And I'm going to create an edge polygon, um, which you can see there. And I'm just going to create a triangle. So I'm going to, to uh, draw the two lines here and here. And then I just specify the number of sides and I make it three. And it will create an equilateral triangle that is uh, the same has shares a length with this side here. Okay, that's what that's for. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is we're going to create um, center point arcs. Um, this is the way that this would have been done uh, in the Middle Ages as well. This is how you create one of the most common forms of um, of pointed vault is beginning with an equilateral triangle. 
and you can kind of see I'm going to change these to uh, construction lines so you now have that kind of nice clean uh, space in the center. The next thing I did here is I clicked this offset button right here and I'm going to make that 0.25 meters. Okay, so now you'll know that everything is working right if you can see a blue highlight in the thickness of that, uh, that arch. So then I'm going to select the next plane and I'm going to repeat this. I'm going to go to finish that sketch and I'm going to create a new sketch. Now it looks like I'm drawing on that front plane, but I'm not. I'm actually drawing on that new construction plane that's in the middle that I drew before. So this is a little more complicated. This is where I'm going to have um, uh, a different kind of, um, of arch. I need to, to set up a few more um, pieces. Uh, this is where I'm going to use the, pro the project tool. Okay, so just to really quickly to run that back for a moment. Um, right here, what the project tool does is it takes, um, based on your view, it takes the um, lines that you've drawn on, uh, on one particular sketch on one plane, and it literally projects them onto a new plane. Um, it's a way of just really quickly um, doing some additional work without having to create that triangle again and do all that. All right, so uh, that should be pretty easy to, to see here. Um, I'm gonna go to project, and then it says geometry, and I'm gonna select everything, even that bottom point, okay? Well, especially the bottom point, because what I'm going to do is make sure that that is exactly the same, and I'm using the same midpoint. And then for this, I don't really care. This is a little um, a little strange. I don't care about you know making this um, you know a particular height because I'm going to use a constraint to fix it later. Okay, so I'm going to go to constraint and say equal, and I'm going to say that this line has to be equal in length to the one below it. Okay, so let me run that back one more time. What I'm doing here is I'm selecting my initial line, okay, and even though it's not the correct length right now, I can make it the correct length by selecting it, going up to the equal constraint, and then selecting the thing I want it to be equal to. And notice that it suddenly gets taller, okay? This is another very, very common um, uh, vault, um, uh, aspect ratio, if you want to call it that. Um, it's a, it's a, a type of triangle that you see to get um, just more pointed arches. Um, so we're, then we're going to go and create um, another um, line that's going to project. This is the difficult part. Okay, so let me run this back one more time. So what we're trying to do to get the correct um, uh, pivot point for this particular compass mark um, there's a technique that, that goes back really far um, where you just begin with a tangent line that begins at the center of the line that you drew and where that line uh, comes out from uh, the, uh, the middle point here and is even with this, this area right here. So what you do is you literally hover over where you want it to, want it to be and it'll give you a guide. You'll see that in green. Um, and then when, you, when, it's, when this is perpendicular and this point is at the same um, kind of extended line um, position as this point here, then you can click again. Okay, so I'll show you how that's done. Okay, we'll watch it in a second one. Okay, so from the middle out and then sort of extending out and then once that hits perpendicular, you just click one more time. Okay, so these again are just construction lines. I'm going to hit X after I select them to turn them into construction lines. All I care about is that I now have the exact right um, point for my uh, center point arc. So watch this bit here where I'm going to click once, twice, three times, and you'll see that it fits perfectly in that shape. And I'm gonna repeat that again on this side. Okay, so now we have um, a really nice isosceles triangle um, kind of shape that's gonna influence our arc. Okay, so this is something I really recommend you all uh, practicing with. This is gonna be point, negative 0.25 in the offset, so it's gonna be the same thickness as the original one that I did. Okay, so all I projected the first time, you can see it's sort of purple, is that that middle, that bottom line is the only thing I projected. This time, I'm going to select, let me go back uh, just very briefly here. 
This time what I'm going to do, sorry, not quite far enough, um, is uh, I'm going to change my view and select the back face, right? Because I want to repeat this uh, shorter arch. Okay, I'm going to repeat that on the opposite side so um, everything is symmetrical. Um, and so what you'll see here is I'll stop sketch that original sketch, select the new point, and then create a new sketch. Now this time I'm actually, I don't have to do any of that other stuff. I'm going to select just the, the edges that I need, um, and then I'm just going to hit the project key here. So we're going to go to create, project, Okay, you can even just hit the P key, and since everything was already uh, selected, I just hit OK, and now I've got the first set uh, completed. So I'm just showing you, um, you know, where it, where everything is, and that's if it looks like that, then you're in good shape. The next thing we want to do is create the two shorter sides, okay? Because this is, uh, remember, this is a six-part vault, so we're going to have to create two um, sort of like imagine them a little bit like lancet um, windows. Um, so these are if this is the width of the bay, this is our vault um, on the sides. Okay, so this would be the one that would have the windows in it. So I'm going to select those two lines. Okay, so even those those are curving. This is kind of um, kind of interesting. These two lines are curved, but in this view you see that they're perfectly straight, right? And the idea is that we're just using their heights. That's all we really care about. So when we project these, they're going to be straight lines. Um, on the new sketch. Okay, so we've selected those two, perfect. Okay, now we have something we can uh, cut across, and I'm just going to divide this into, into four pieces. Um, what we're doing here, you'll see um, that I'll have a, um, a midpoint for each of these pieces, and you'll see in just a moment here that we can draw a triangle just in between these two. Okay, just to kind of make sure that we know where our guidelines are. We don't really need these, but um, I think it's helpful to, to remind ourselves how we do this process. So I'm repeating the isosceles technique that you all saw last time um, by using the perpendicular, okay? There it is. Okay, so now we have those two points. And we're only going to have to do this once, fortunately, because we can use a mirror tool to uh, flip this over to the other side as well. So I'm now going to create a center point arc, okay, which you see here. And those are my three clicks, one, two, and three. Okay. Now, if you remember, we're just going to offset this. Okay, we're going to... Draw the legs on the bottom first. And once we've done that, now we can offset. So I'm going to make sure that when I do this, that I'm going to select the legs as well as the good, as the arch. Okay, so once I hit this offset, everything should come together. And the way to test this, again, point two, negative 0.25, hit enter. The way to test this is to that we'll we'll look in this in the middle and see if everything turns blue. Okay, so we're going to select all of those and then mirror them across another line, which is right here in the center. Okay, so I select the mirror line, and then select the line. Okay, so if you want to see that um, one more time, um, I'll show you that. So what I'm doing is I'm selecting everything I want to mirror. Go back to the mirror tool, sorry. So I've offset. Now I'm going to select everything I need to repeat over on this side. Hit mirror. Select the mirror line. And there it is. Okay. And then when you're ready, you can hit OK. Good. Okay, so we have just about every sketch that we need at this point. Um, we just need to uh, do another one. Actually, I forgot we do have to do one more in the center. That's going to be a new one. So we're going to select that uh, center plane that you created before. Again, hit 
create a new sketch. Remember, we finish the sketch before we create a new one. And then we're going to project these. Okay. For this one, I think it's going to be fine to just select that middle line because we're going to need that again. We're going to take the bottom pieces as well. And so that should be okay. All right, so now we have just a few things in our projected middle space. All right, so we're going to grab the line tool again, and we need to make sure that we can find the midpoint again. So we got to redraw those. I suppose I could have projected those. That's okay. looks like we're missing a few things that we might need, um, just some simple guides. So I'm going to draw a quick guide here and here so I can get my midpoints. Good. All right, so I'm going to be repeating that these, uh, the same image that you have here, um, I'm just going to repeat that um, in the center. So again, drawing the isosceles triangle, making sure that we get our perpendicular line so we can get our compass center. Okay, I'm gonna do this really quick here. Now, theoretically, if you even if you did this once, you could just use the mirror tool to mirror across the center um, after you've done one curve, but I think it's really doesn't save you that much time. All right, so now we go to center point arc. And we click three times as we've done before. One, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. Good. All right, so we're in good shape now. Remembering that the, the center of these are, are always going to be taller because that's what makes it uh, turn into a domical vault. Okay, so I'm going to double click. I just double clicked on one of those lines and it, it did a great job of selecting everything that I needed. And I should be ready to offset. Okay, that's what it looks like now. I'm still in the sketch. Okay, so I can offset and drag this in. It's going to be point, negative 0.25 again. Okay, and I'm going to hit enter. All right. If I... The last thing I need to do is just project those uh, those two kind of lancet arches um, onto the opposite side, and then we'll be ready to do the loft. So I'm going to select that, create a new sketch. I got to finish my previous sketch first. Okay, so we're going to finish sketch, select the line or the face, and then hit create sketch. Okay, so I'm selecting everything I need by double clicking, making sure I don't miss anything. That looks like I've got it all. Okay, so now I can go to project. We're just at the P key. And now I should have everything I need. Okay, we're getting really close to the end. That's the hard part. It's all about drawing the sketches uh, in Fusion 360. So it looks like everything is in order. Okay, we should know, we can tell that this is blue in the middle. So that's, that's in good shape. All right, so I'm going to hit this button right here called Loft. Okay, you can, you can see it up here. This is that button. Okay, and you have to select these profiles in order. Okay, so it's asking for Profile 1, Profile 2, Profile 3. You want to make this a new body so that it doesn't join with this bottom piece here. Okay, and you've made the very first piece. That's good. Okay, so let's select, turn those bodies off just so it makes it a little bit easier. There's a little bit of a problem here. I've still got this, this line in the center here that's kind of causing a little trouble. So I have to be a little bit careful about selecting all of these pieces before I go to select the third profile. Good, and instead of a cut, we're still gonna create another new body. Okay, and that's our, our second one. And we have one more to do, going diagonally across the vault. Okay, 
So what I did when I, when I did this the first time is I missed the legs. So we're gonna have to go back to those. Okay, say one, two, three, select those. Sorry about that. Um, now we're gonna select each piece of the second arch and then we're gonna go, remember we're going diagonally across, so we wanna select this one. And that one is, is easy, that's just one click. Okay, that's profile three, good. New body, that's what we're looking for. Okay, so that's much better. All right, it helps to sort of occasionally, you know, just turn the camera around, have a, have a good look at what's going on. Looks like we're in good shape, we just have to repeat this one more time. So I'm gonna remember the legs this time. Okay, that's profile one, and then I can hit loft from there. Okay, so let's close that up. Let's try that one more time. All right, open the loft tool first, then select profile one. Follow it with profile two. Since these are all on one plane, it's gonna understand that all of those pieces are part of one profile. That can be a little confusing, but um, hopefully this will work out okay for you all. Okay, and instead of cut, again, we're gonna have a new body. And then we can hit okay. The last step is we're gonna to need to cut all of this kind of junk that's in the middle. Um, fortunately, we have the objects that we need to do in order to do that. Um, so we're going to do another loft, but we're going to use them as cutting tools. Okay, the easiest one is this one. We're going to select one, two, three, and do another loft. Okay, and this time it's a cut. Okay, so just the middle part, not the the sort of profile of that arch, but the middle part. All right, so now when we look through, we see that we've cut through based on that shape. We've cut all the way through there. So I'm gonna repeat that same process for the, the smaller ones here. Actually, I think I only need to do it for one. Um, I have to do this for one at a time, actually. So let's change our view a little bit. And that can be kind of hard. You can see stuff is getting in the way, so I gotta change my view. Select these up. Okay, and then do another loft. And it looks like it's giving me a warning. Let me, uh, let's go backwards. This is useful just to, to know that once you've started, if something looks like an error, it's okay, you can Always go back. I think the, the lesson here is to always open the loft tool first and then do your selections. I think it tends to get a, a little confused otherwise. Okay, so those are our four for th profile two and then one for profile three. That should do it. We're gonna turn the bodies back on so that there's something there to cut um, and we're gonna be okay with that. Okay, so we hit okay and just we're gonna repeat that one more time with this last one. I think we need to go to, yes, before I get too excited, go to loft first, select the first two, that'll be profile one. I'm gonna turn the bodies off so I can see better, and then I'll select the four pieces for profile two. And profile three. And instead of a new body, again, we're gonna to want to turn the bodies back on and cut. That's good, and then I'll hit OK. All right, if I turn my sketches off, it should look nice and clean. Okay, this is pretty good. All right, you can see there's there's definitely some some things that happen in the in the base here that are a little strange, but um, mathematically speaking, this is a really good ball. Um, this is uh, the way I'd like you all to to think about how to create these kind of domical shapes. Okay, now we can go and create ribs for these vaults later, but for the short term, let's just go ahead and select uh, the base and make it go away. So the way you make it go away is, is with this tool uh, that I selected up here at the top, which is the uh, extrude tool. Okay, this one is called push-pull. It's very similar, but this one's called extrude. You just push that. Um, if we go back for just a moment, you just push that through. Um, so I can take you back just a little further. 
I'll try that one more time. So I'm going to select that face and I'm just going to extrude it down, which actually, if you see anything red, it's going to cut. So that's what we want to do. And we'll just hit OK. And that's the end. That's the end of that tutorial. So um, please be ready to hit pause. Um, and uh, good luck.